In this tutorial, we are going to add two alarms onto our pump control application. We will add a low-level alarm and a high-level alarm. A low-level alarm is used to indicate that the liquid level has dropped below a specified set point. This can occur if one of the pumps fails to shut off after the liquid level reaches the pump shut off set point. A high-level alarm is used to indicate that the liquid level has risen above a specified set point. A high-level alarm can occur when the liquid inflow exceeds the pumping capacity of the two pumps or when one of the pumps failed to start running. In either case, the vessel may overflow. Based on these alarm scenarios, we can see that the low and high level alarms provide valuable feedback on the operation and maintenance status of your application. The PDA graphic shows that the multi-ranger is actively measuring the liquid level in the vessel. We can also see on the multi-ranger display the icons for the first two relays. The hollow circle indicates that these relays are active but not currently engaged. This means that the pumps are not running. Since the first two relays are being used to control the pumps, we will use relays 3 and 4 to control our alarms. To add the high and low level alarm relays to our duplex pump application, we will first put the multi-ranger into program mode. We do this by pushing the mode key then the next display key twice. The LCD display will now show P dash 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 in the parameter number field. We are now ready to configure the four parameters necessary to control our alarm relays. The first parameter is parameter 110. Enter 1 1 0. This parameter sets the level source controller for the alarm relays. The level source controller for the alarm relays will be transducer number one. The multi-ranger display is currently showing that the level source controller for relay number one is transducer number one. The single digit above the parameter number field is the index value. The index value shown is one. This value represents transducer number one as the level source controller. The pair of digits in the upper left of the LCD is the index number. The index number shown is 0, 1. This represents relay number one. To set the level source controller for relays three and four, press the next display key twice or until the index number field shows dash dash. Then use the up arrow key to scroll to index value 03 or relay number 3. Relay number 3 also has an index value of 1. This means that transducer number 1 is the level source controller for this relay. There is no change to make here, so we will push the up arrow key to go to relay number four. Again, we can see that the index field value shows a value of one. We have verified that transducer one is the level source controller for our alarm relays. We can now go to the next relay control parameter. Push the down arrow key to scroll down to index number three. Press the next display key three times or until P dash 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 appears in the parameter number field. Enter 1 1 1. Parameter 1 1 1 sets the relay control function. You can see that the display is indicating that index number 03 currently has a value of 0. This means that relay number 3 is currently turned off. We will set relay number three to be our low level alarm. As you can see in the programming chart, a general level control function can be used to provide relay control based on the liquid level in the vessel. This control function has a numeric value of one. 
Enter 1, followed by the Enter key, to assign this function to relay number 3. To set relay number 3 to be a low-level alarm, press the Units key. The multi-ranger will display a double up arrow to indicate that we are setting an alarm. Press the up arrow key twice. The multi-ranger will now also show a single letter L for the low level alarm. Press the enter key. Relay number three is now our low level alarm relay. We will now program the on and off set points for our low-level alarm. For a low-level alarm, the on set point has to be a lower value than the off set point. This will ensure that the low-level alarm is triggered when the liquid level drops below the on set point, and then turn off when the liquid level rises above the off set point. In our application, we will configure the low-level alarm to come on when the liquid level drops below 0.4 meters and turn off when the liquid level rises above 0.5 meters. The alarm set point values are stored in parameters 112 and 113. We will enter the on set point value first. Press the next display key. P dash 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 is visible on the multi-ranger display. Enter 112. The parameter 112 setting for relay number 3 is currently a null value as indicated by four dashes in the parameter index field. Enter 0 decimal 4 followed by the enter key to set the on set point value to 0.4 meters. Now we will enter the off set point value. Press the next display key. P dash 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 is visible on the display. Enter 113. The parameter 113 setting for relay number 3 is currently a null value as indicated by the four dashes in the parameter index field. Enter 0 decimal 5 followed by the enter key to set the off set point value to 0 0.5 meters. We have now configured our low level alarm to come on when the liquid level drops below 0 0.4 meters and turn off when the liquid level rises above 0 0.5 meters. The next step is to configure our high-level alarm. Our high-level alarm will be controlled by relay number 4. To set relay number 4 as the high-level alarm, we will configure parameter 111, the relay control function. Press the next display key. P dash 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 appears in the parameter number field. Enter 1 one, one. Parameter 111 is currently showing the settings for relay number 3. Press the next display key twice or until dash dash appears in the index number field. Press the up arrow key to go to the settings for relay number 4. You can see that the display is indicating that index number 4 currently has a value of 0. This means that relay number 4 is currently turned off. We will set relay number 4 to be our high level alarm. The programming chart shows that a general level control function can be used to provide relay control based on the liquid level in the vessel. This control function has a numeric value of 1. Enter 1 followed by the enter key to assign this function to relay number 4. To set relay number 4 to be a high level alarm, press the units key. The multi-ranger will display a double up arrow to indicate that we are setting an alarm. Press the up arrow key three times. The multi-ranger will now also show a single letter H for the high level alarm. 
press the enter key. Relay number four is now our high level alarm relay. We will now program the on and off set points for our high level alarm. For a high level alarm, the on set point has to be a higher value than the off set point. This will ensure that the high level alarm is triggered when the liquid level rises above the on set point and turn off when the liquid level drops below the off set point. In our application, we will configure the high-level alarm to come on when the liquid level rises above 2.2 meters and turn off when the liquid level drops below 2 meters. The alarm set point values are stored in parameters 112 and 113. We will enter the on set point value first. Press the next display key P dash 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 is visible on the multi ranger display. Enter 112. The parameter 112 setting for relay number 4 is currently a null value as indicated by the four dashes in the parameter index field. Enter 2 decimal 2 followed by the enter key to set the on set point value to 2.2 meters. Now we will enter the off set point value. Press the next display key. P dash 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 is visible on the display. Enter 113. The parameter 113 setting for relay number 4 is currently a null value as indicated by the four dashes in the parameter index field. Enter 2 followed by the enter key to set the off set point value to 2 meters. We have now configured our high level alarm to come on when the liquid level rises above 2.2 meters and turn off when the liquid level drops below 2 meters. The programming of the alarm relays is complete. The final step is to put the multi ranger back into the run mode. Push the mode key to switch from the program mode to the run mode. You can see on the multi ranger display that the four relays are currently active. The current liquid level reading is 0.34 meters. This is below our low level alarm relay set point of 0.4 meters. The icon for relay number three, the low level alarm, is in the closed state. This means that the low level alarm is on. As the liquid level rises, the low level alarm will turn off. As the liquid continues to rise, pump number one will turn on. This pump slows down the vessel filling rate, but the liquid level continues to rise. Pump number two turns on to assist pump number one. The filling rate slows again, but the level continues to rise. The liquid is coming into the vessel faster than the pumps can pump it out. The high level alarm comes on to warn the operator of a potential vessel overfill. Finally, the liquid inflow rate decreases below the pumping capacity of the two pumps and the liquid level begins to drop. The high level alarm turns off and the pumps continue to pump down the liquid until they reach their off set points. The multi ranger is now fully configured to control a basic duplex pumping station.